One of the things I love about the book of Genesis is how it begins, how it all begins, how Genesis 1 tells us who. It tells us that it's God who created everything. And the more you read from Genesis 1, I think the more it tells you about God. For instance, one of the things it tells me is that he evaluates his work. So you read in uh, that he calls light into existence. And after he says, let there be light, he saw that the light was good. You know, he, he creates basically the globe and the stratosphere, the ozone layer, layer or however you want to understand uh, what he does on the second day. And he evaluates it and he says, it's good. He creates the soil and he creates vegetation. Each day as he creates, he pauses, he evaluates what he does and he says, it's good. Now what's interesting to me is that in the last day, day six, when he makes man and when he makes woman, he then steps back and looks at everything and he says, it is very good. And so he says, it is good, it is good, it is good, it is good, it is very good. And he rests on the seventh day. But then you go to the next chapter. Chapter two, verse 18. And God is evaluating Adam by himself. And he says, it's not good. It's not good for man to be alone. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, whatever else you think, this is not just a commentary about whether or not you should be married. God is talking about the fact that He made us to need each other. He did not make us to be Lone Rangers. He made us for one another. And He made us for relationship with Him.